But notice what he says. He says, nevertheless, so in spite of all of this, in spite of all this work, I know all that's going on. I know you're making good stands. I know you're trying people. They say they're apostles or not. You're, you're wise. You're able to spot people who are deceivers and liars. You know, you're on your game in that regard. You're doing a lot of work. He says, but I still have somewhat against you because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So the warning is, if you don't go back to the first love, if you don't go back to the first works, I'm going to remove your candlestick. In spite of all of this other work that you're doing. Now, how many times he mentioned labor, working, like three or four times in those two verses? But what is his problem with? His problem is with the first works. So with all of this work that they're doing, they've left off the first work. They've left off the most important work that he's saying, if you're not doing this, I'm going to remove your candlestick. Let that stink in with how busy you may feel and all the things you may be laboring with and say, look, I'm not a lazy person. Good. Amen. Because you ought not to be slothful. You ought not to be lazy. The Bible, you know, is very clear about that not to be a sluggard okay you ought to be busy you ought to be working it's better than not working at all but at the same point what are you working on what are you working for what are you working with these things matter too and we don't ever want to lose sight of the most important things when he's talking about the first love the first work i believe he's talking about soul winning Amen. that is the first love that is the first work and he knows love and works are going together there that first love that first work of the church is to go out and reach the lost and you think about churches that may have good doctrine they may be able to spot the phonies they may be doing a lot of stuff and keeping themselves real busy and being real active and they've got active congregation and church member man i'm involved with this and i'm involved with that and i'm doing this but they're not doing any evangelism any soul winning and it's like hey look it's great that you've got these programs and you're doing things and people are keeping real busy and you're not doing wicked things and you're not doing sinful things and you're laboring and God can see all that labor that you're doing. But he's saying you've gotten so caught up in everything else, you forgot about the most important thing. You've gotten distracted. You've gotten off point. And, you know, in the Christian churches, or, you know, Baptist churches are doing this when they start building schools right and 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 building other programs and building all this stuff and now that's where their finances are going and that's what they're pushing and that's what they're promoting and get your kids in you know it's like hold on a second are you going out and, and actually seeking and saving that which is lost are you going out and preaching the gospel of jesus christ like i know you're real busy with all this administrative stuff and all the school stuff but don't forget the first works Because if you do, God's saying, I'm going to remove your candlestick out of his place. I'm, not, I'm no longer going to even regard you as being a church that I'm going to try to work with and try to help and try to, try to be, you know, be with you to do good. He's saying, I'm just going to move on.